I joined JRTC my sophomore year while at Murphy and freshman year coming into high school I didn't know what JRTC was and I had a lot of friends that were in JRTC freshman year so I was able to learn about the program via them, go up there and talk to the instructors and I decided sophomore year that I would like to be in the program. The program instilled um, values within the students that many students who were not in JRTC did not get. So leadership, discipline, we were giving briefs. I felt like it was, it was a program that elevated us above our peers in, in high school. So my senior Army instructor was Lieutenant Colonel Retired Steve Gardner and he now is my mentor. He was someone that I feel like God put in my life for a reason. He had previously served 20 years in the Army in the Air Defense Branch, and I'm Air Defense now. So he, he was just someone who was willing to work with young people. Over the years, what she did in our program, she evolved from just being a basic cadet to being a battalion commander, and, uh, which is the top of a 160 person program. Uh, this, took, this took a lot, and she, she, she learned those things from other people as well as developing within herself. Where we focus is on those young folks that have to go in the general direction of either going to junior college or going into the workforce. And what we focus on is developing those skills within it as well as a little bit of history, a little bit of patriotism, a little bit of citizenship so that young folks can make a conscious decision when they get out as to whether they want to enter the workforce or they want to go to college or they want to go in the military, or a combination of both. I always was someone who was interested in choosing something or doing something that's not easy. So I knew the service academy would be a challenge. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't just be, hey, I went to college and I completed that. And which would, which would basically be me completing the academic requirements. West Point, there were three pillars. Academically, you had the academic pillar, the physical pillar, and the military pillars. The path was just, it was, it was a little bit more structured and I knew it was going to be challenging and I saw it as something that I wanted to overcome. It, it's, it's, they have to find it. In other words, a lot of them come in, when they come into the program initially, they say the only reason I came to ROTC is because I, I didn't want to do PT or PE. But then they found out they had to do PT or PE and ROTC to pass. Then they gradually begin to enjoy it and they go to summer camp and they could do the runs. And every, the, everywhere there is, is sort of like a little basic building block where we're teaching them things that are going to happen later on in life. So I like to consider myself to be a renaissance woman. I like to do a whole lot of different things, have my hands in everything. So even right now while I'm in the Army, I'm in the Army, I run road races, I coach, on, coach track on the side, and I recently started, had an interest in beauty pageants. So growing up, as a young girl, you have young girls that watch the pageants that do come on TV and you're always like, oh, I want that to be me someday. So um, in January of last year, I signed up to compete in the Miss Alabama USA pageant. Uh, well, her communication skills are obvious uh, with their position in the Army. Uh, and they're also very good with uh, what she's doing in her modeling. Uh, I think Shalila is uh, what you'd call an all well-rounded young woman. She has uh, a lot of talent, but then again, it takes some system somewhere to focus that talent and then give you enough free time to where you can expand it. My advice would be definitely take advantage of, of JRTC. Take advantage of the programs that are instilled within the program at the school level and anything that the county offers.